I would like to cite a personal experience over here. Uh, what happened was in the first attempt, uh, I decided if I'm going to write this uh, sociology paper very well, I would very well get through the interview. And remember that I lost that uh, attempt by two marks. Uh, I got 674 and the cutoff was 676. Uh, the previous uh, night of that exam, I didn't sleep. I hardly slept for one to two hours. Sir used to say minimum six hours sleep is necessary because you are not going to accomplish anything by studying the previous night. That's absolutely true. But then we have a feeling, right? Um, the more you study before the exam, the more you can write. So uh, I went on like that. And the morning it was totally dizzy and uh, my eyes were burning. So I was not able to concentrate anything. I was like literally crying, though I was not trying to cry, uh, tears started flowing down because of the heat or something. Uh, I was like, uh, okay, this interview is done. Uh, I won't be able to get. So, but the question paper was actually easy. The second paper, the afternoon was totally easy. Uh, I completed the paper half an hour before. And then I thought like uh, very much easy question paper, uh, why people are still writing. And then uh, I turned around and uh, one of my friend's reaction was like, uh, it was very difficult. Then I started seeing the question answer sheet, what I have written. And to my surprise, uh, in the mains exam, you have to group your answers, like 50 marks in two sections and another section, you have to write another 50 marks. What I, I did was a blunder. I wrote every uh, question in the same category. So uh, obviously they are going to strike away the 50 marks. I had only 10 to 15 minutes left. I had to strike which 50 marks I don't want. I have to write which 50 marks I have to write. So it was totally a mess. and. Uh, I wrote that 50 marks, 20 plus 20 plus 10 in 5 minutes. Imagine the quality of answer I would have given. So, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I knew I wouldn't clear it. I got 108 plus 108, 216. Uh, if I had uh, scored another 10 or 20 marks, I would have probably got an interview call and I would have gotten the first attempt itself. But sociology as a subject, uh, there is no uh, difficult questions. Uh, basically, gender questions such as caste, uh, village, informalization of work, what is the problem of women? You can easily relate it to it because uh, Sir uh, had a current affairs session this time, and in there uh, he has said that how women face in developed countries also. Like uh, you go by H1B visa, the women has to have a H4 visa. If not, uh, it's going to be a trouble. So that issues I had uh, inculcated in my answers this time for the violence against women. For in informalization of labor, Sarah has given a lot of surveys, how uh, even though people die, it doesn't come out in the official report. So that kind of information, authentic information, if you are going to write in the exam, it is going to differentiate your answers with other answers. So that way, I felt sociology was very much practical for me. Then, for example, in geography, you know the question, you have, if you know the answer for only the same question, if the question is going to be like that, the answer is, has to be like that. But in sociology, there is no specific answer. You can write whichever answer you like, provided it links to that question, provided it is practical, provided it is uh, uh, good for the examiner, that's it. I have to ask sir what books are there. I know Harlampo's book is there, but uh, I, I have no idea what other books are there, to be honest. Because uh, sociology, only sir's book I have referred, nothing else, to be honest. Uh, very well, because this time, uh, towards the end, if you see, uh, one scheduled type question was asked in the GS1. Uh, religion and religiosity question was asked in GS1 again, 20 marks. Uh, it was very much uh, easy for me in that way. Uh, I think in uh, ethics also I was able to give a societal approach uh, for the case studies. So essay, it was very much useful. As I said in education, how it helped. Uh, you can just practically use these uh, uh, notations and quotations in there and uh, have a down to earth approach because at the end of the day, this service is going to be down to earth. And uh, if you are giving a down to earth uh, approach, then it will be a beautiful answer, I believe. What sociology question was asked in your interview? Uh, yeah, that was a beautiful uh, thing that happened to me in the interview. Uh, one ma'am, after asking uh, three guitarists I didn't know, uh, she said, okay, sociology is a science of society. I said, yeah. Then uh, she asked, okay, uh, what is this joint family, nuclear family, how did it evolve? Uh, I remember sir's words exactly and I remember what theories he had said to me before. 
So I said, ma'am, uh, actually in India there was joint family. Anywhere it was joint family. Then towards the nuclear family, subnuclear all came because of economic compulsions and uh, people have to move outside. And uh, she asked, okay, which is very good, joint or nuclear? I said, uh, I would support joint family, ma'am. And she was like, uh, why so? Uh, isn't it a problem? Those things and all. I said, uh, uh, joint family, if there is joint family, there will be more people. And if a problem comes, that can be solved within the family itself. But in nuclear family, it will result in divorce, obviously. Because if a solution is not uh, uh, been done, the husband has to act as a father and a uh, brother for the wife, and the wife, the vice versa. So I was explaining this, and the ma'am actually completed my statement. So that means she was attentive and uh, she was uh, liking my answer. And the second thing is, uh, I said, this uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day concept are all Western concept because these don't uh, uh, apt, these are not apt to Indian concept because we don't uh, need one particular day to visit our mother and father. Then everyone nodded for that. Then uh, again, uh, I remember what sir said. Um, because of these uh, nuclear family problems only, there is rising old age homes in India. That is a true fact. And everyone nodded. Right? Then ma'am was like, uh, she was satisfied. Then the other uh, person towards the left to me, uh, that sir asked, okay, you're supporting so much of joint family, how much time do you talk to your mother and father? He was like, uh, that was very practical and everyone started laughing and then, sir, I don't keep a time of it. Uh, then this uh, conversation went on like that. So if you have a practical understanding of a uh, problem, you will be very well able to defend it and you will be very well able to put your views so convincingly that uh, it will be very practical for them. Uh, you are not giving a theoretical answer. So that way sociology was very much helpful for me. Uh, one thing very uh, approachable, that is very much important because these days uh, institutes are becoming very commercial. Um, approachability because if you have a problem, be it whatever it is during your family problem or your, during the preparation, they are all years for it and uh, they are, because they have been through the preparation, they will be able to give a suitable solution for that uh, problem. Uh, sir, actually Shivraj sir and Sadik sir had helped me a lot uh, during the prelims or mains or the interview preparation. I have uh, approached them several lot of times during my mains for evaluation. During interview, I have met Sadik sir and I have asked what kind of questions can be asked. He sat with me personally for half an hour to one hour and he gave a lot of questions. These kind of questions you can prepare on it. So that way, I think approachability is very much needed. Moreover, the knowledge they have is uh, you, uh, there is no depth for it. So uh, it was very well uh, good for me. Also, the practical examples they give during the lectures. I think everything drove me towards this journey. I'm very, very much uh, thankful for that.